My name is Zach and I like to backpack around the world. Good morning from Houston, Texas. Today I'm going to be continuing my drive back home to Memphis, Tennessee. I would love to do something touristy here in Texas, in Houston, Texas, because I do have viewers from this area and I know they would enjoy seeing their town on one of my videos. So maybe I'll go around downtown real quick and do a few shots there and then keep cruising until I make it to, I don't think I'm going to make it all the way to Memphis tonight. Maybe Texarkana or Shreveport. I haven't decided which way I'm going, but whatever way I decide to go, I am inviting you to join me. Yes, I'm bringing it back. Rose wants it back. Until the Daily Woo personally says to me, hey, I don't want you using it then I'll stop. One of the Daily Woo's friends, I don't want to say a complete imitation of Jacob the Carpetbagger, but it's pretty close. Actually, I want to retract that statement. I've been dealing with Jason Rupp and some of his subscribers fake copying accusations since around the end of January, and I guess it's kind of rubbing off onto me. People either get inspired from other creators and it sometimes shows in their videos and there's nothing wrong with that. And then there's other people who just so happen to make similar videos as other creators, whether they knowingly do it or not, whether they knowingly know the creator that they are so-called copying, even though that creator has made those kind of videos long before they heard of Jason Rupp, so. Anyways, the person who I'm actually talking about in this example, Adam the Woo's friend, the Daily Woo's friend, I actually enjoy his videos and I have nothing but respect and admiration for him. So my little uh, remark in that clip, it's not who I am, it's really not. I just, after you get accused of copying someone for over two months, it kind of rubs off on you to pick up on other creators who have similar personalities and styles as other creators, but I don't know. Let's carry on with the video. So, me saying one line that the Daily Woo also says isn't going to hurt anybody. Until he says something to me about it, then I'll stop. Until then, I'm inviting you to join me. <laughs> Shall you? I'm looking at some of the things to do here in Houston. And a lot of these are just so time consuming that I just don't have time. Like the Space Center, the Houston Zoo, the NASA Johnson Space Center, the Houston Museum of Natural Sciences. Maybe Discovery Green? That could be a possibility. Or Herman Park? Those two. I am in downtown Houston. Check out this beautiful skyline right behind me. And then over here we have the Toyota Center. This is where the Houston Rockets play. Now, I am not a big NBA fan. I'm not an NBA fan at all. But I do like going to concerts and I cannot wait until the time comes where I can attend an arena concert. I would love to see Ariana Grande in this building. So whenever she announces a tour and it hits Houston and it comes to Toyota Center, hold me to it. Seriously. <laughs> it's probably more likely that I attend an Ariana Grande concert or a concert in general 
in Houston because I'm going to be coming to Texas quite a bit. Going down to Brownsville, Texas is probably the easiest way right now for me to get to Mexico. And since I bought these car magnets for my car, I think it's the most advertising friendly way to get to Mexico. When I fly and spend four, five, six hundred dollars on a flight, I'm not advertising myself. Therefore, these magnets are useless if I'm flying. So if I drive, I get something out of them. So, and I love a good road trip too. So why not? So let's make it happen. Ariana Grande, 2022, come to Toyota Center. Let's make it happen. I will be there. 100%. this dinosaur vertebrae that rotates alongside this fountain outside of this convention center here in downtown Houston. Pretty cool stuff. It's pretty cool to see. I am now here in Discovery Park in downtown Houston, Texas. And right behind me, we have like a Rubik's Cube. Let's check more of this park out. Follow me. hotel i'm not sure if this is the marriott that has the texas shaped pool but it does have a rooftop pool so there's that Well, that's going to do it for me here in Houston. I'm going to keep cruising to Memphis, Tennessee. I've decided I'm going to stop in, hopefully, Texarkana. Once the sun starts going down, if I don't make it to Texarkana by then, then I will start looking for a room prior in uh, towns before Texarkana. 
anyways i will be coming back through houston eventually because like i said it's my way to get to brownsville anyway so i might as well obviously i didn't get around to doing much here in houston i didn't do anything at all really except for go to that park and check into my hotel last night that's all i did here in houston like i said earlier i plan on coming through houston a lot maybe three four times a year which is a lot to come to one city per year so let me know in the comments things i should make time to go see and do and i didn't even eat at a restaurant here in houston and i'm not going to i'm going to find a restaurant outside of the city limits so let me know in the comments some restaurants i should uh be hungry for the next time that i come through houston and i'll save some room in my tummy for that and there's going to be people who make fun of me for being a fan of ariana grande and wanting to go to her concerts to that i say i really don't care i'm 28 i'm not in high school if you want to make fun of me for silly shit, go right ahead <laughs> I'm not only into Ariana Grande because I think she's beautiful, but her music is actually really good. She has one hell of a voice on her and anyone who says otherwise, I'm sorry, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. You're wrong. H-Town, let's check out some of this artwork real quick before I leave Houston. H-Town with the Houston Rockets logo. Let's check the other side. Yeah, I don't know who this is. Actually, you know what? I will get me something to eat here in Houston. I am shaking really bad, so. I don't wanna wait to eat, so let's find something.
this is what enchiladas looks like in the United States. A bit different than in Mexico. I'm not complaining, just, yeah. And they're red. That's, that's fine. It's good. Cheers from Houston, Texas. All right, it's 2 p.m. Let's get out of Houston. I'm kind of doubting myself getting to Texarkana before dark. As a vlogger, most definitely not gonna make it to Texarkana before 7, 8 p.m. To stop at Sonic not for food but for one of my favorite road trip snacks a milkshake oh no why'd I park at this one so I got a Reese's peanut butter blast from here at Sonic cheers from Shepherd Texas I thought that would be too thick to get through the straw. I thought I would try anyways. So anyways, I thought it would be cool to recognize famous people from small towns in these videos when I'm stopping by these smaller towns on the road, especially when I'm stopping at a Sonic or somewhere to eat. I think it'd be cool to do, so let's start that now. So let's talk about some famous people, some notable people from right here in Shepherd, Texas. First, we have Amber Holcomb, which was American Idol season 12 finalist. Pretty cool stuff there. I've never heard of her, but I will check her out. Maybe she still makes music, hopefully. Cheers, Amber Holcomb. Still too thick to get through the straw. And then we have Travian Smith, which is an American football player. And then we have Tyler Kolick, which is an American minor league baseball player. And then we have Ernest Bells, which is a Texas state representative. And then we have Burt Long Jr., which is an artist or was an artist. Still too thick. God dang.
now the sun is officially down. Although I will be finishing this drive up to Texarkana. I only have one hour to go. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm screaming on camera, but if I don't talk loud enough, the GoPro audio isn't going to pick up and I'll sound mumbly and that's not the sound I'm going for. That's not the audio I'm going for. So if sometimes I have to raise my voice, it's not because I'm trying to yell, but I want to be audible. Anyways, I will be finishing up this drive. Only an hour to go. And then tomorrow, I will be finishing the drive completely. I will be home tomorrow. Hopefully, I don't know. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I will be home tomorrow. I am staying here at Executive Inn in Texarkana. I'm not sure if I'm in Texas or Arkansas. I don't know that part. Let's check my room out. I'm staying in room 221. I already turned the light on. A nice chair, air conditioning, which I will be using at full blast. I like my room very cold when I'm sleeping. Uh, decent TV. A microwave. Let's turn on some more lights. Bathroom. The toilet's a bit stained, but that's okay. It's clean, at least. <laughs> A shower. A sink. An ice holder. Microwave. Refrigerator. Pretty nice. Pretty nice for, I think I paid $45 tax included. So, not bad. And they have an old school telephone. It works. Then we got a bed over here. Let's go ahead and test the bed out, even though I'm the least pickiest person when it comes to beds. That is comfortable. I approve. Not bad for $45. In the United States of America, not bad for $45. In Mexico, for $45, you can get something really nice. So anyways, yeah, I'm in Texarkana. I still don't know if I'm in Texas or if I'm in Arkansas, where the hell am I? I didn't see a welcome sign. That's why I'm questioning if I'm still in Texas or not. According to this, according to this, I am in Arkansas, barely. I'm right over the state line. So I am in Texarkana, Arkansas. So I have a slew of videos that I need to work on. So that's what I'm going to do now in my room here in Texarkana, as well as I need to start planning the next trip. I have some things in mind now, so that's good. I'm not sure if I should tell y'all now or tomorrow or wait until May. We'll see. Anyways, my name is Zach and I do like to backpack around the world. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to take it a step further, hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell. Ding ding. Adios from Texarkana, Arkansas.